We are here today with Mohamed Abulgar, the current number 13 player in the world. Mohamed, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Thank, thank you. you. You grew up in Egypt. Yep. Uh, how did you first get interested in squash? Yeah, in the beginning, I, like, I just start, like, started many sports. I tried tennis, I tried uh, uh, soccer, and, mm -hmm. and then uh, I didn't find myself actually in team sports. So I, 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 was, like, I was more into uh, individual sports, mm -hmm. and then I went with my dad to uh, the Haram tournament. Mm -hmm. It was in the pyramids, and I felt like this is crazy. So <laughs> I just yeah, went crazy about it, and uh, yeah, I joined squash since then. What sort of training did you do as a junior once you got started? Seven years old, uh, training wasn't that hard actually. Okay. I, I just I used to do many sports uh, mm -hmm. besides squash, uh, so that was like one time a day for one hour, six <laughs> days a week, mm -hmm. and then I got into it more and uh, I started like training more with like more professionally, like three three hours a day, six mm -hmm. days a week, and then yeah, yeah, that's how it is. Did you travel to tournaments internationally as a junior? Yeah, my first one was uh, British Junior Open. Mm -hmm. I was 10 years old. I remember I lost to uh, Ramit Tandon, mm -hmm. an Indian guy. First round, yeah, it was, yeah, was a great experience. So that was the first time actually for me to, to be on an airplane alone oh, with wow. just a team. Yeah, I was the youngest and I was a small kid like going around. I lost <laughs> first round, so I had to just watch the matches for the rest of the tournament. And wow. yeah, that was actually that gave me like a bit of confidence. Mm -hmm. like I, can, I started watching top players playing wow. and yeah, it started all from there. Uh, did you copy any of their of the top players' type of uh, technique or sort of or, uh, tactics? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think one of the great things about Egypt, playing squash in Egypt, that we always had someone to look up to. So when I was like, uh, when I was like eight or nine, uh, when I was ten, I, uh, I remember going with uh, Mossad, Rami, and uh, uh, Mo Reda. Yeah, I used to watch these guys play, and uh, they were like U19s and U17s. Mm -hmm. So for me, they were like older than me. So. <laughs> Yeah, I had always someone to watch, and uh, yeah, that, that's a great thing about being a squash player in Egypt. So. Well, that's so different than the, what you get here. I mean, sometimes yeah. you get you get to watch the top players if yep. you get to if you're at a tournament where they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you get to see them. Yeah, all that, the time. that that wow. that was a plus. Yeah. What do you think helped you the most to succeed as a junior? It's all about the people around mm -hmm. you. I, I I was I was fortunate about the people around me, like my dad, my mom, my coaches. I never had a pushy coach. Mm -hmm. Uh, my dad and my mom just made me enjoy playing, and uh, like I was never like, punished if I lose a match or anything. Uh, just they just told me go enjoy and just have fun on court, mm -hmm. and I think that helped me a lot. Like I, I was never pressured on court, like I, I was just having fun. So I think that helped me a lot. That's a great mindset. It's yeah. Sometimes different than what you see in the United States, where there's a lot of pressure on players to succeed, and yeah, I yeah, guess yeah. that must have made you love it even more. Being a squash player is all about, uh, I mean, you just have to love it. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you would go on court and you, you wouldn't be focused mm -hmm. on what you're doing. And uh, yeah, it took me a bit of time to realize that there is more to life than just a squash match. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, that, that's how it is. That's how I see it. And yeah, I'm happy. I was lucky actually to have someone to tell me that at a young age. You turned pro in 2009. Yep. Um, what is your training regimen? In off season, like in preseason, mm -hmm. I train like for six days a week. Mm -hmm could be like four hours a day, fit, including fitness, squash stuff, and gym stuff. And yeah, we work more on the things that I would like to improve during the season. And in season, it's just like quick sessions, mm -hmm. explosive, more explosive stuff. Uh, no, tough, no very like tough matches like mm -hmm. I do in the preseason. Mm -hmm. It's just like some stuff to get me ready for the next tournament. So wow. that's how it is. So the, the off season is a time to get yourself back into yes, it. Yes. Yep. And then uh, kind of ramp up for yeah. the season. Yeah. That I mean, the preseason is the base for the mm -hmm. whole season. Mm -hmm. And during the season, you just you just do stuff to keep yourself fresh, sharp, and focused. And then, what is your favorite tournament that you traveled to, or what is your favorite one that you play in? It's a tough question, isn't it? <laughs> Very tough. But uh, I would I would pick the Ilguna. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's in Egypt. It's right by the beach. Mm -hmm and it shows the beauty of our sport that we can put the glass court everywhere. So, yeah, it's great. I wish I could play in the pyramids. Mm -hmm. I never had the chance. Mm -hmm. But I imagine if, if the, uh, yeah, the pyramids mm -hmm. would be the best tournament. When you're about to go play a match, what is your pre-match routine? Uh, I start my day with uh, maybe a light hit, mm -hmm. just solo hit. Mm -hmm. uh, and I go back, I just try to keep my head off squash, mm -hmm. you know, watch a movie. Uh, call a friend, like uh, having a bit of a nap. Mm -hmm. 
and yeah, uh, I wake up like three hours before the match. I have lunch. Mm -hmm. I have I take a meal, mm -hmm. and then I could watch some videos of mm -hmm. my opponent, uh -huh. study him a little bit, and then uh, yeah, I go there. I'm just ready to go. Do you uh, use visualization at all to think yeah, of how your match yeah, is going to go? You need. I I feel that you always need to see yourself winning. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you if you're about to win, then mm -hmm. you wouldn't realize. So right. You just need to to visualize that all the time before the match.